I'm Peggy Tucker, and I am the owner and operator of School of Cakeology, which by the way is not a traditional brick and mortar company. It's just me and all of my gear traveling all over the world teaching the art of cake decorating, design, and sugar work. And today I thought I'd show you how to make this little pumpkin. This is just a skeleton of it. He's actually over here fully done, and it's done with isomalt that I've placed into the microwave. I'm using Cake Life and heat it. You can actually go to Cake Play site to find out how to heat that properly. The videos are all there for you. You can also catch one of my other classes where you can see it done there. So these are little sugar dippers that are by um, Cake Connection and you can find them online. This is one of their leaves and I'm going to use it for our pumpkins because I like the little grooves that are in it. it reminds me of pumpkins. So this is the easiest way to do sugar. You heat it, you pour it. These are little silicone sugar dippers. And so I'm going to do just a nice, easy little pour. By the way, the cup that I'm using is by Wilton. And I like it because it keeps that sugar a good distance away from my hands, as well as all of my students. You'll also note that I have on gloves. Why? Because we practice safe sugar. You don't want to wind up getting that sugar up onto your hand because it will burn. So if you were to splash a little bit of the isomalt there, you want to take and get that glove off as soon as possible so that it doesn't continue to burn your skin, which is the easiest way to handle it. Just wear the gloves. So I've got a toothpick and I'm just moving the sugar back and forth onto here. And I actually ran up just a little bit short, so I'm going to pour just a tad more right into there and then just smooth it with that. If it starts to dry on you because you might be taking too long to move that sugar around, just take your torch and hit it. Just like I'm going to do right there. Handy dandy little torch, just the cream belay. And then keep the torch moving, dancing. You don't want to keep it in one spot because you don't want to burn your mold. There we go. Bring the toothpick back over and just get it right into those edges. Just like that. I'm gonna do the second one over here, same way. Just a nice little pour. This time I'm gonna put enough sugar in there, possibly. At least I hope so. There we go. Move it around. Now you're probably wondering, oops, what happens if I get it over that edge? Well, you just take the side of the toothpick and you clean it off. Keeping where your hand is at at all times. Now you'll note that I poured one at a time. I didn't do two. The reason is because it dries really fast. So you want to pour one, get it moved where you need it to be, pour the next one. Be aware of where your hands are as you're crossing over that sugar. Once again, it's hot. So I'm gonna set that aside. These are going to begin to cool and I'm just going to roll it back and forth, back and forth until it coos. See how it comes up as it's cooling? It just comes right on up. Takes just a tad, a little bit of time. So as it's cooling, I'm actually going to shape them into little C's. I started to tell you C that way, but to you that would be backwards. So we'll point it this way, a little C. Want it longer in the front because the pumpkin goes down, a little on the back side. I've also, on the bottom, I have poured a little bitty round disc so that when I'm attaching them, I have something they're going to. And so this was really hard, folks, so, you know, heads up, a pour into a little disc. Stop it, catch the sugar, push it back in. That's hard, I know, see? It's all about the pour. So when that dries, that's what we would begin to build on. These are probably ready to go now. I'm gonna just move that on off of there. If it doesn't come up by itself, don't pull. You just distort the, the sugar a little bit. So you wanna just rock it. Nice and easy until it's ready to come on off of there for you. See how it comes off? Then I'm going to set it down. I'm going to fold it over. Push it down that away. So it forms that little C. And then I'm going to lay it on its side so that it dries that way. I'll cut this one, see if it's ready to go. All the edges are. But once again, that center takes longer because it's thicker. So we'll just work on that. Rock it, rock it, up it comes. Nope, not yet. See, you just have to wait for it. Don't get anxious and pull it. Whoop, there it goes. When it's ready, it just pops on off. So once again, set it down, curve that little C, set it down. 
when they dry, here you go. And what I've done is I've heated the bottom and I've placed it on and then set the other one next to it. See the shape starting to take place? And then I'm just attached all the way around until I've gotten to this point. So I started here, then I attached these two, and then I attached these two. And now I'm going to come back around and show you how to attach this. Now if you don't have a torch to be doing this, you can simply use the hot sugar. And once again, we're going to do my favorite thing, dip and stick. Right in there it goes. And then just hold it in place for a second or two and then it'll harden and it'll just stay put for you and you don't have to worry anything about it. All right, so that's that one. I'm gonna move it around. Actually, it's a little long to me. So I'm going to try to pull that on out of there. And sugar is really funny. You can move it slow and it'll move for you. But if you try to pull it fast, it's actually going to um, break on you. What I wanna do is just clip that little piece down just a little bit, see, and just pulled it right off. I'm going to reattach that so that it's not quite as long in there. All right, that'll attach. I'm gonna swing this around, take a look at this one, get back up there. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, much better. So we'll dip and stick. Now it's gonna take just a second or two for that to dry, so just kind of put your hands around it, hold it all in place. Now this one's a little higher. I'm gonna take the torch and I'm gonna knock that down just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the little topper for you. But that's as easy as it is. So come on back. We're gonna put the little top on it. Welcome back. We're now going to make the little topper for our pumpkin. I'm using green and to that I have added a little bit of the bronze. And so I've warmed it. And I'm just gonna pour it out here on my mat and they begin to work the air into it and by doing that you're just moving it back and forth a little bit as you work it and then it's going to eventually get to a taffy consistency and at that point you'll be able to pick it up and begin to um, pull it a little bit and it will be a little bit warm on your hand but remember we are wearing our protection because we always have to have it on you will see me a lot of times without it that's because i'm bad i'm sorry but you really don't want to wind up getting an isomalt bird. It's like the worst that you can possibly imagine. So you see as I'm working this, it's getting more and more like that taffy consistency. You'll also note that it is now taken on a bit of a pearlescent shine. I'm just going to keep working it. You can almost hear it a little bit too. See how that's stuck? You just peel it off. Now if that was hot, hot, that was not going to peel off, that would have been the time that glove would have been ripped off my hand. Why? Because you won't want to have that on your hand. All right, so I'm going to move that from there. Don't you love the little strings it makes? Love the strings. Anyways, begin to work it back and forth. Roll it. And you're just putting more and more air into it as you go along. That's all that you're simply doing to it. Which is allowing it to cool at the same time. This, by the way, is the same process you would go through in order to do blown sugar. You would have it melted, put the air into it, roll it out, and at that point then you would get ready to put the tubing into it um, to be able to pump the air into it, just like that. Same thing. But here we're showing you how to do all of that without having to have a heat shack, all of that equipment. All right, so now it's nice and cool. So I'm going to start by just making a little Topper on the bottom. See, a topper on the bottom, that makes no sense, does it? But this is our bottom to the topper of our pumpkin. All right, so I'm gonna hold down to it and I'm gonna actually begin to just pull at the same time, warming it out. And then I'm going to begin to twist it. The pumpkin tops have those little grooves that go around them. So I'm gonna to begin to twist it. Working it, twist. Work, twist. I need to seem to always be twisting and rolling. All right? So that's that so far. We don't like that. So we're going to press it down. Give it a little turn. Give it a little movement. Remember, everything should have movement. All right? 
And if it's warm, it's going to want to continue to droop a little bit, so you want to just hold it until it fully cools. This does not get wasted. This goes to put right back into our isomal to be remelted. Never any waste, all right? So that would be our little hat, how we got to there. And if you want to have lots of little grooves, then you just continue to move it. See, you can put a few more little twists into that. Okay. How am I going to attach that? I'm going to set that over there. Bring this in front of me. And I'm going to take my handy dandy little torch. I think it's simply because I like playing with fire sometimes. And I'm going to heat the bottom of that, keeping the torch moving. And then just set it right down onto there. And that's just enough to get it to attach so that it's not going to go anywhere. Now, I happen to have these extra little curly cues and leaves left from another class that I did. So if you'd like to find out how to do these, just go ahead and take a peek at that class. You're going to really enjoy it. So I'm just going to once again heat and attach. I'm going to put that one around that side. Get my fingers out of the way. See it there? I'm going to take, let me see, maybe I like, like this one to come around that side. Little torch. Watch your fingers. You'll note that my torch is going away from my hand. Never at it, but away. And I'm going to attach that one right there. I'm going to turn that so you can see it. Yes, it is sticking to my finger. Not a problem. I'll just pat that down. Remove those little strings. Just like that. And then give it a little movement. Don't let it just lay flat. Give it some movement. I have my little curly cues. I'm going to actually do that same thing too. And then I'll decide whether or not I want to put another leaf onto it. Now, curly cues on the pumpkins don't just stand straight up. They kind of have movement to them. They drape over. Some of them do, but some of them just, you know, they just kind of drape over. So when attaching them, don't just stick them all straight up. Like little Indians, straight up. Or soldiers, get them all kind of moving around. Large pieces like this, I'm just going to take and snap the bottom of that off. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Generally, it just snaps, and I'm having a... There it is. Sometimes you just have to show it who's boss. Put that one down inside there. And let it come over a little. If it gets a little too warm, you just want to make sure that you hold it in place until it dries. And let's see, we're going to take this little guy and put him over here. It's just an auto matter, or matter, excuse me, a matter of where to attach them. And that's your own eye being creative with your piece. Remember, it's nothing more than enjoying it and having fun with it. But um, it's supposed to be. So, once again, I'm going to do this piece. Attach it there. And I'm going to leave it alone. Maybe not, because as I look at it, I've got this front done, but remember, sometimes things are all the way around, so if I turn it, it's kind of naked back here. So I'm gonna grab this leaf here and attach it. The trick is not to overpower it, because it is a small piece, so I'm just gonna lay that one down there. I'll clear this away, and there you have a quick, easy little pumpkin for the holidays coming up. How simple is that? It's heat the isomal, pour it into a mold, form it, attach it all together. Thanks for joining me. And above all, remember to have fun playing.